Five years ago, Kyle Bradish was a fourth round pick of the Los Angeles Angels. Today, for the first time, he throws in an Angels game as he opposes his first franchise. Taylor Ward goes back in the leadoff spot tonight. Breaking ball to Ward, line into center. Mullins got a good jump and makes a nice catch moving forward rapidly for the game's first out. Joey Ortiz playing behind Kyle Bradish. It is the first time in Major League history two New Mexico State Aggies are in the same starting lineup. It's been a struggle lately for Trout. Five for his last 30. Hasn't homered in a while. The average has fallen. Trout swings and misses. There is the slider, which has been so good of late for Kyle Bradish. Two down. Bradish has his first strikeout. Here's Shohei Otani. Otani sends a slider high in the shallow left. And Austin Hayes will close out a 1 2 3 inning for Kyle Bradish. And there's Griffin Canning on the mound for the Angels tonight. Yeah, I expect a big game here from Griffin Canning. And you get that fastball, get up to 97 miles an hour slider. Very, very good changeup and curveball. Canning to Cedric Mullins, who strokes the first pitch of the game in the left center at his World Baseball Classic teammate, Mike Trout. Much been reaching out, was way out in front of that as he lifts a lazy fly ball. And Hunter Renfro has it. Two up, two down for Canning in the first. Anthony Santander will hit it in the direction of Renfro. Comes charging in from right, and the ball drops in front of Renfro and in back of Drury. A little miscommunique, and Santander will take a gift of a single. Here's Mountcastle. Fastball, and it's hit hard toward the right field, but it hangs up. Renfro has it. To end the inning. Canning works around a two out blue pit, led to the second at Camden Yards. They start the bottom of the second inning. Nothing, nothing game between the Orioles and Angels. Henderson in the left field, and that ball is going to be off the glove of Taylor Ward. It will kick by him. Henderson taking three, and why not? Gunner's going to be in there standing. A line drive slicing away from Ward, and Henderson gets to third to begin the Orioles' second. And he missed way up for a walk. Here's a butt by Frazier. It's going to be a fair ball. And it is bobbled by Urshela. And Adam Frazier did exactly what he didn't want to do. And it ends up being exactly what he did want to do. Back to the mound. Canning has it. Throws home. Over to first goes Wallach. Double play. You Talk can't. about just what you needed. Canning's got a chance to pitch himself out of this one. And he'll try to do so against Joey Ortiz. And he strikes out Joey Ortiz. Nicely done by Griffin Canning. Top three, Kyle Bradish. Six up, six down with a couple of strikeouts in the early going. And that's a called strike three. A beautiful curveball by Bradish. He gets Wallach looking. The 2-1 pitch coming home. Neto grounds it up the middle. Ortiz, a diving stop at shortstop. A flip to second for one, and that's all they'll get. But Ortiz takes a base hit away from Neto, and the Orioles get the lead runner. The 2-1. That's on a line into left field. Hayes in his tracks, now charging in. He gets there, and he puts it away for the final out in the top of the third. No score. Cedric Mullins getting a second at bat. The 3-2 pitch to Mullins. That's ball four. Didn't miss by much, but it wasn't caught by the catcher, Wallach. This one kicks away from the catcher, Wallach. He can't find it, and Mullins will scoot on into second base. The 2-2 pitch. Rutschman grounds it back up the middle, back in at second base by Drury. He throws to first base, and he beats Rutschman there by a few steps. And on the play, Mullins gets the third base. The pitch to Mountcastle. Ground ball, base hit, throw on the left side. That will play Mullins. An RBI base hit for Mountcastle. And it's 1-0 Baltimore. Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, and Hunter Renfro. The big boys do up for the Angels. Like one ball, two strikes on Mike Trout. There's a high fly, right center field, pretty deep. Mullins will watch this one, and it is gone! Home run, Mike Trout. He breaks a homerless drought that has spanned over the last week and a half. He has hit his ninth home run. Mullins gave it a good shot up near the wall. But in the place where Mike Trout has hit his first major league home run, he hits number 359, and he ties the game at one. One-to-one -one game, Adam Frazier. And Frazier delivers a line drive here, and Trout cannot get there. In fact, he tried to play it barehanded, but Frazier holds up at first. Vavra grounds it towards second glove flip by Drury. Wow! Almost a brilliant double play, but Thice was pulled off the bag. 
There goes Vavra, high throw. Terran got in there under the tag. A stolen base for Terran Vavra in his first attempt of the season. So now it's up to Mullins, Mr. RBI this year. Mullins shoots it through the right side, base hit. Here comes Vavra, racing around third, and he will score. The stolen base set it all up. Cedric Mullins continues to be one of the best in baseball in these situations. Hitting with runners in scoring position. It is off the charts this year. That's his 34th RBI. There's Gio Urshela. 2-1 Oriole lead in the fifth. Kyle Bradish pitching. A 1-2 pitch. Ground ball hits softly up the middle. Shortstop Ortiz has it. Steps on second one. Throw to first. You can count it for two. A strikeout on a slider from Bradish. He erases Wallach. And faces the minimum of the fifth. It's the eighth pitch to Hayes. Who drills it into right field. Well tagged. And it's going to go. Right on top of the grounds crew. Austin Hayes rakes one to right. Home run number five for a 3-1 Oriole lead. Boy, look out. When Austin Hayes starts doing this, look out. And what a swing this was. I mean, this is a fastball. Outside part of the plate. And he didn't try to pull this one. As Kyle Bradish comes back out for the sixth inning, only damage against him, the Trout homer in the fourth. Another 3-2. And Edo puts it in the air to center. Very late jump for Cedric. He completes the Camel connection on out number one. Another slider, and he strikes out Ward. Wow. Five punch outs for Bradish. They've all come on hooks. Mike Trout drives another one to center field. This time, Cedric will have room. And a 1 2 3 6, Kyle Bradish. Well, for a third time this year, Kyle Bradish has gone six innings. He's still out there for Brandon Hyde. A high drive from Otani, easily playable for Mullins. And another flyout for Bradish. Otani 0 for 3, three outs in the air. Bradish deals. Renfro goes the other way, McKenna over, and he will make a jogging grab heading towards the foul line. A very quick second out for Bradish, and there are two away. That's into short center field. Frazier going out, and Frazier couldn't make a basket catch. And with two out, the Angels will bring the tying run to the plate in the form of Matt Theis, and he will not face Kyle Bradish. What an outing for Kyle Bradish. I mean, outstanding. There is Danny Coulomb making his 19th appearance of the year. Popped up by Renjifo. On the infield, Henderson charges in, loses the hat, and makes the play in foul territory. Here's Mountcastle. Got under it. Broke the bat, too. And look at this. Ward coming in. Neto came out of nowhere. Where did he even come from? And I love his aggressiveness here. I mean, he just turns his back to the infield and runs wide open and tr keeps track of the ball. Doesn't hear the outfielder call it off and somehow makes an unbelievable play in left field. That is as good of a play as we've seen this year. And for the second straight night, the Orioles will turn to baseball's best reliever, Yenier Cano. Michelle of a shortstop. Ortiz waits for a true bounce and throws him out. Another batter retired. No one in baseball history had given up less than six hits and walks combined until now. And he strikes out another. And he strikes a pose as he gets rid of Wallach. Just a dive bombing changeup. Two and two. And he struck him out anyway. The greatest show in baseball continues. You just oh. got to laugh about it. All you can do is laugh. Back to mountain time. Felix Bautista making his 20th appearance of the year. Looking for his 11th save. And Bautista throws. A much improved splitter. That's the one he wants to throw. A five pitch walk to Trout. The mountain versus the myth. Felix wins it. A splitter for a strikeout. And out number two. And the Orioles one out away. That one out, Hunter Renfro. Renfro hits it in the air. Deep center field. Mullins has room. And the Orioles have a win. Unclench. Hug and smile. The O's win it three to one and take two straight against the Angels.